Welcome back to another video. Today, I'll be showing you how you can get your localhost project up on the internet using TinyHost. TinyHost is quick and convenient, and in this video, I'll show you how easy it can be. So let's jump into it. So you can see here, I've got my dashboard and it's running on localhost. And now I wanna get this onto the internet so I can share it around with some friends. So let's go straight away to my project. And you can see here, just a standard kind of React project. And the first step that I wanna do is I'm just gonna build the project. So type npm run build. So once you've typed this in, run the command, I've already run it, so I'm not gonna run it again. And you will get a build folder right here. So now, once that's done, you want to go to your extensions and you wanna look up the tiny extension. So it should just look like this, tiny host. And you just want to install it. I've already installed it. And once you've done that, you just need to do a couple of things to set it up, make an account, log in, allow VS Code to um, use uh, the extension. And once you've done that, you'll have this extension thing right over here. So next thing you want to do is select the deployment directory. And now this is critical. It must be the build folder. So you can see here's the build folder. We just want to select that, select a folder. And once that's selected, you should have um, the option to select an existing link or create a new subdomain. So it could be anything, whatever you want the subdomain to be. So now that I've done that, I'm just gonna go and select deploy. And you can see here in the bottom corner, it's just zipping up all of those files. It's putting them onto TinyHost and it's getting them on the internet really super fast. And you can see now it's already done. My project's up on the internet and I just need to select the site. So now I've got a link. I can share that with anyone that I want. And it's working the exact same way that it was working on localhost. You can see here exactly the same thing. All the buttons work the same way. And you can just share this link now. But what's also even cooler is there's analytics running in the back end on TinyHost. So if you go over to your, your dashboard page, you'll be able to go look at those analytics and you can see who's visiting your site and all the traffic and it's a really, really cool feature. And you've just you know done that in three seconds. There's no configuration needed. You just put your local host project on the internet and it's just as easy as that using TinyHost. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. I'll see you in another one. Bye.